Welcome back, Guardians. This is Seen and Luke here with you, Fighting the Darkness. Now, it's October 14th, and we have Zor back with us in the tower. He's hanging out over here by the speaker. So, it looks like we're going to have to wait just a bit longer to see where he's going to pop up in Fell Winter's Peak. As for what he's offering this week, we have some very tactical armors. For the Titans, we're looking at the MK44 stand asides. Now with the recent nerfs to shoulder charge, this will give you a little bit of that edge back, increasing the duration of shoulder charge and giving you a tighter turning radius while sprinting. In a lot of these close quarter crucible maps, it'd be very surprising to some guardians with you just popping around that corner and hitting them with that shoulder charge. Now the bones of AO on a hunter will give you an additional jump, keeping your, your mobility high you break line of sight and just get to where someone will not expect you to be. And be very good for avoiding those shoulder charges. Now the Sunbreakers for the Warlocks will increase the duration of your solar grenade and give you an additional solar grenade charge. So additional grenades are always good and the length of time that the solar grenade will just sit there burning can help close off areas of maps in PvP and PvE. And when you pop your super, you can lay down so many of these, you can really shut down whole areas or even shut down whole teams. Now the new weapon is the Trespasser. Some of you may have gotten this before the Rise of Iron came out, but for those who haven't gotten it yet, here it is. Now it's a burst fire sidearm with the perk Unrepentant which reloading after a kill gives you an extra long burst. So a burst is three, this will give you a burst of six. The biggest complaint with this weapon is how quickly it will go through ammo, but it is a whole lot of fun. So looking at some of these ornaments that come with it, Fallen Assassin, it's very pretty, kind of cool looking, like maybe you found it sitting in the ruins somewhere. And then Crucible Assassin here, gives it a very clean look. Uh, it's the one I'm really looking to get to fulfill some of those Robocop fantasies. Speaking of ornaments, what we have this week, Moon Glow for the uh, Hawk Moon uh, is one of the ones I've really been looking forward to. And then Storm's Reproach for the Invective makes it look like you just pulled it out of a volcano. And of course we have our three of coins, which you never want to forget to get some of these exotics so you don't have to wait for Azur to be selling them. Couple of drives here. You got the void and the plasma drive. If you like purple like I do, that's a good match for you. Alright, that's we'll do it for us this week. Now get out there, fight the darkness.